If you've ever worked with a character, you'll know that if you have a bunch of topology mistake, that you're going to get awful results when it comes to like rigging and animating and all that. Deformation is going to be awful. Your loops are going to be struggling. Your modding is just going to be slower. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through five common mistakes that you are running into with your topology. Let's go through right now. Hop in. Right, so firstly, it doesn't sound like you. You are spending hours trying to fix your deformations, your new characters, your modeling is just slow and painful, and you just keep banging your head against the wall trying to improve your characters, and you're just confused on how to fix all of your problems you're having. Well, this is why topology is so important, because just having clean deformations uh, because of your joints like actually being good, uh, you save time when modeling and have just clean results for your low poly or high poly characters. So let's get into the first problem. And the first mistake that I see so many people do is the tries versus quads versus n-gons. Okay, so where should we be using what? All right, the main kind of thing you have to consider is obviously, firstly, are you doing low poly? Are you doing high poly? Are you working with a subdivision with a sub D or sub D, D, uh, low poly, high poly, all of that? Consider this and consider, but yeah, that's gonna be the main thing. If you are working high poly, don't use triangles that often. The reason is, is because like you have the, the amount of vertices to just work with it. And I'll show you later, but we have ways of getting rid of topology if you need, if it's too detailed to actually work with, and we have ways of adding it back in. Now, another thing is also if you're working with a subdivision, because if you work with a subdivision, then using a triangle can actually get subdivided properly. So obviously if we do like that, when you subdivide it, it's gonna do uh, it's actually going to go into quads. I can't even remember how, but it does somehow. Something like this, maybe. And then you can see you get like a quad base mesh, and it just basically ends up creating a bunch of loops and creating a pole, which is something you will get into a bit later. Now, one thing you basically don't want to use ever is a n-gon. The only times you're ever going to use an n-gon is if you have a circle shape that's completely flat on the top, and then you can kind of inset it and get a uh, like this. This is where you can have an n-gon. Basically, any other like time, n-gons are basically just going to end up in bad topology, bad deformation. So just stay away from them. I'd rather you use a triangle than create an n-gon. Um, yeah, because basically the reason is like triangles. This is what game engine is going to work off of. Basically, because if you have a triangle like that. This can never be like not flat. It's always going to be hundred percent flat. Whereas a quad, if you kind of just drop one of the vertices like that, you can see that's not going to be flat. If you triangulate it though, you'll see this will be flat hundred percent. So that's basically why you see all the different game models with all the kind of triangles in it. Another massive mistake that you are having in your characters is not having good topology around the joints. So you can see here, this is an example of a low, higher poly character and this is an example of more low poly character. Um, this is kind of the two ones. If you're gonna go for all quad mesh, like you can do like this, where you just have the straight lines. Uh, and if you're gonna do low poly, you can also like simplify it slightly, just add a triangle. And this is another way, this is when you're gonna add in triangles is when you need to simplify little sections like this. Um, there's no point in kind of having more vertices going through the back and kind of having these two vertices over here will kind of give you a better looking result um but yeah, that's kind of the good thing just have some more vertices over here this is going to help so much when it's going to do that if you only have one edge on your leg then or if you knee it's basically going to like you're going to lose so much volume when it comes to your actual like knee okay and you can see here it's very common to kind of have your loops go around like that and then have your loops go around like there and this will basically just add more vertices on the knee. So that when you kind of bring your knee up like this, you have enough vertices to kind of stretch around that angle. So that's one thing you just have to change and fix. Just basically go to this, go find some good references for the joints. Now, this is kind of how to redirect topology and kind of this thing that is called poles. And it's kind of what I showed you over here with the whole triangle thing. You'll see here, this is what kind of happens. And the thing is, this could have actually been a triangle. Like if it was just like this, this is basically a subdivided triangle, okay? And the whole thing with poles is basically when vertices intersect. So obviously, usually it goes like this, which is like four sides, but then you can have three, and then you can see you have the, the edges that kind of pull around like that. And this is just something to be wary of, is kind of where do your loops flow? And we'll talk about loops in a minute, but this is where do your loops flow? If you have five vertices or five poles, you can see it goes away from it like this, okay? And you can see with these, it goes inwards. And that's kind of the difference between the two poles. And you'll see, this is where it all flows together. Get some good references of how everything flows together and this will really help you improve. Same thing we say with the knees, have these little loops over here. Have the loops around the back, have the loops around the arms. Um, this is a very important one for doing higher poly characters or just 
even just a character in a t-pose whole t-pose first a pose debate if you t-pose you need to have this topology over here to add more vertices same thing this also kind of loops around and you can see so like if you look at this they're adding in more vertices if they're just going to do straight lines you just wouldn't have enough vertices to kind of bend that arm right there so you can see that's kind of where it is important to have those loops and you create a lot of poles when it comes to doing this um so you can see like this arm right here this is a three-sided pole so there there and there um so is that three sided one two three four no it's four interesting but it's fine you'll see that's just kind of uh it's poles um you'll see them a lot of throughout your characters oh no it's a five-sided one i'm actually just dumb but yeah so very important and something to uh, do go find some ones just i usually use pinterest you can go to google same thing just go like look up topology references characters topology find some low poly ones find some high poly ones all that stuff see what you can kind of work with with your characters same thing as we said before changing the density of your topology kind of how to kind of add and remove so if you're working higher poly or even if you're working low poly the bits that actually need the detail can get the detail and the bits that you don't need it don't have it okay you can see use a graph like this so how you kind of add it in you can create and also just bear in mind this is kind of how they loop together so you can see like this how it goes around that loops around there this one goes there you can also just use this to kind of direct different loops you see this one going to go down there um over here same thing go there and then these are going to go like around like that so this is going to go there there uh, and it's going to see like it's important to know where your topology is actually going to work, go which way they're flowing um, same thing so it's going to go around there that's going to go this is just having multiple so it's going to go there or that's going to go down these are going to go around that's going to do it down um so like keep in mind where you are actually sending your vertices um so use something like this which is going to be very useful for kind of changing the level topology throughout your models okay now what's next it's the new topology guide that i've just launched and shameless plug this is why i made this video but i hope you found this video useful but if you want to go more in depth i have like two hours of content right now uh, i'm going to go through how basically an in-depth kind of topology guide and then i'm going to go through how to actually model a base mesh like this from start to finish and then i'm going to be roasting your models now first thing description if you want to go grab it if not, then there's going to be another video on topology right up here that you can go more in depth on your character topology. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.